Hello everyone, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. And as you can see by the box here in front of you, we have the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G slide. Comes in the uh, now typical T-Mobile retail box. It's the you know, well-built, well-constructed box with a few of the features shown on the box itself. Now this is the MyTouch 4G slide and we'll, um, I just arrived probably I don't know, several hours ago. So um, I'll kind of go through a walkthrough of the hardware and then take a quick look at some of the some of the software. But I still have a lot of things to play with, particularly the camera, which is a big focus of this device. So this is the uh, successor to the MyTouch. I think it was a 3G slide or something like that. Can't remember the names. And um, this is an Android 2.3 gingerbread device. It has. Uh, 1.2 gigahertz dual core Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. It's made from HTC again. Uh, it's a 3.7 inch uh, 480 by 800 WVGA display. Has since 3.0. So if I if I turn it off, turn it back on, it has the, uh, the slider there, and I believe in the settings. Let's see if there's some settings for the uh, personalize. I actually don't see a setting for that home screen. So it's since 3.0, but it uh, may not have all of the functionality that we've seen on some of those other since 3.0 devices. Um, so let's take a walk around the hardware. Here's the front, the 3.7 inch display. Um, has hardware buttons down below here that are, that are pretty nice. It's got a home menu back and then the, the genius button, which is what is uh, well known. <coughs> On these my touch devices, see if we get something here. Push and hold it. Search for donuts. There we go. It actually worked for me that time. So there we go. Searching for donuts. And as you can see, when you press and hold it, you can call someone, send a text or email find a business and things like that so it worked good that's good that it worked on the video there so I'll play with that some more um, let's see continue the walk around it has a front facing camera up here speaker up top this is a uh, optical touchpad down below also has action if you press in on it and then on the right side we have a physical camera button down below here Nothing really on the bottom but the lanyard opening and a mic. We have micro USB on the left with a volume toggle up high. Up on top we have the 3.5mm headset jack and the power button. And then on the back we have this 8 megapixel camera which is a, a major focus of this device. It has an aperture lens that's f slash 2.2 which um, is pretty dang good. And I'll show you some of the software that, uh, that supports the camera. Dual LED flash back here, and another, another mic, I believe, for capturing a video. And then on the front, uh, this is a QWERTY device. So there we go. We have a QWERTY keyboard. Uh, highlights in um, green and white. And uh, the keys are well spaced, as you can see. They have kind of a, a hard, rubberish kind of texture to it. Um, decent feedback. Press the key. And I haven't checked it out to see if there's customizations for shortcuts for the keys yet. One thing I, I have been missing so far is there's no directional uh, arrow keys on the keyboard. So you can use it and then you jump up here to go back and forth. It, it's kind of a jumping between the touch screen and the keyboard. It's not so much you can control everything from the keyboard like some of the uh, excellent HTC keyboards we've seen in the past. Um, it's, a, it's about a mid-level HTC keyboard and um, pretty decent. Flip around the back, you can see what it looks like on the back with uh, the keyboard set up. So let's just take a look at the software. So this is uh, Android with HTC Sense. Press that, you see there's five home screens. And of course you can slide through the different uh, widgets and such going on. Uh, if we tap on the applications, you can see that there's some specific applications loaded on this device. Friend Stream, of course, is HTC. There's the Double Twist Sync on there, the Flashlight application. 
there we go, that uses the uh, LEDs as a flashlight. Uh, let's see, scrolling up, uh, Kid Zone is um, a way to customize it for widgets for kids to play with your phone kind of thing. There's the media room. Netflix is actually loaded up on this device. You can have Netflix, and uh, now they have the new streaming plan for a little bit less. Maybe more people will buy it. Let's see, we've got the Android Market, Polaris Office, which is what HTC's been using lately for their Office solution. T-Mobile TV and Telenav are a couple of the T-Mobile services that are on here. And then we have video chat supported by Quick. We have a Zinio Reader on board. And uh, that's about it. So as you can see, there's really no, um, very little um, bloatware type of stuff on here. You know, T-Mobile TV and, and Telenav is about it. It does support Wi-Fi calling. And uh, you can see here I have it turned off. You can turn that on and remember that it will use your plan minutes. Um, but at least you can uh, make calls at home with the Wi-Fi. So far, I've uh, I've just been messing around with the device. It's it's a very nice Android device. It's going to retail for $199. Um, one of the big selling points, of course, is the camera. And that's the one thing I haven't really had a chance to test out much. And I believe if I go from, if I go an off position, I can press and hold the camera button and like Windows Phone 7 it will launch into the camera application which is a great feature and I, I like having that uh, functionality on there so now you can see there's some face detection going on it's got a smiley face up top um, as I look at the box here and if we tap on auto we can see there's different modes so there's auto then there's their sweep shot which you may have seen the demo where you just uh, you're going to capture a panoramic shot and you just start sweeping across you don't have to stop and jerk and just kind of sweep across and it captures a panoramic shot there's their new clear shot HDR so it has the HDR support where I believe it will take three pictures and then kind of merge them together to um, get the best contrast out of it there's burst shot for taking multiple photos in a quick burst we've got night capture we've got action capture some macro capture portrait and then manual so there's a lot of options in this camera and it's supposed to have zero shutter leg um, I guess we can test that here in a second just a minute we've got auto we got for the flash auto off I don't see a red eye and uh, you get back and front facing camera you can toggle between you can toggle between the video recording and still pictures and we go in here there there's a few more menu items as you can see wide screen resolution, auto enhance, face detection, shutter sound blink detection, smile capture I don't see a uh, let's see autofocus I don't see image stabilization on there but uh, so let's go ahead and try their zero shutter yep and we're re ready to take another picture it's pretty fast So the camera should be one of the most uh, innovative parts of this phone, and I'll check that out some more as I have some more time with it. That's just a quick first look at the new MyTouch 4G slide, which will be coming in black or khaki. This is the black version, and uh, it'll be coming July 19th to T-Mobile, $199, I believe, not $199.99, with a two-year contract. Thanks for watching.